Good morning, guys. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. I know I haven't vlogged all week. I'm sorry about that. I've just been working. I'm just getting up. It's like 8.30ish right now. Tony's in the shower and Sandy's right there sleeping and Chloe's in my bed sleeping. <laughs> uh, yeah, but sorry I haven't vlogged all week. I've just been working and work's going okay. This week I was loading the package cars all week and that was definitely interesting. <laughs> It's easy to be loader, but it's not easy at the same time. And my full-time soup and my belt soup kind of just said, here's your scanner, you've got a streetcar pole, that one, that one, and that one. Have fun. <laughs> Holler if you have a question. <laughs> so I'm like, just kind of got thrown to the wolves to kind of learn from on my own and go up based on what I've learned like in my notes from my classes and stuff. There wasn't really anyone that could like stay with me and like coach me or teach me. Because they were just, we were very short staffed like every single day this week. It was weird. But I did all right. Uh, Monday was pretty terrible because that was the first day. Tuesday was a little bit better. Wednesday and Thursday were better because we had like a lower volume. And then Friday was kind of kind of rushed because we had to wrap things up early for the drivers to do something special for Mother's Day. So, um, but it was very stressful at some times because, I mean, you just have this flow of packages coming down a belt at you and you have to be like quick to like get them off and and do something with them <laughs> and luckily for me I've been at the end of the belt all day so I've just been kind of picking my packages out of a pile but for the people that are up at the beginning of the belt in the middle they have to be quick to to get their packages on and loaded and then get back out of there before so that other packages don't pass them by <laughs> So I give a lot of respect to people that can work the, the top and the middle of the belt because it is not easy to keep up with that flow. There were a couple days where the end of the belt got so backed up because some people were missing stuff and it was just getting piled up and then the packages were getting crunched and they're falling off the belt and you're just like, oh my god, like how am I supposed to deal with this? So that's what I was doing all week, getting practice loading the package cars. And I'm pretty sure I sprained my right thumb. <laughs> it probably happened either Tuesday or Wednesday because that's when it was starting to hurt. I, I must have jammed it on a package or something because, I mean, it hurts to, like, bend it. And it, it feels swollen, like, in my joint. So I must have jammed it or something and sprained it a little bit. So I've been kind of babying it and icing it down. And um, when I was working, I, had, I was just kind of grabbing packages, like, with these fingers and kind of keeping my thumb out of the way just to kind of take some of the strain off it but yeah it's definitely it definitely hurts i did something to the thumb other than that i haven't done anything during the week it was just coming home from work trying to stay up for as long as i could and then eventually just going back to sleep and then going back to work and repeat <laughs> work sleep repeat <laughs> so there wasn't anything to vlog today not really any plans either i have to go out and do a couple errands later i need to go to the bank and stuff um but other than that I'll just be hanging around with tony he's not working today so he's home but if i do go out and do anything i will be sure to take you guys with me I'm just pulling into the bank right now. Got to go to the ATM and get some cash. <laughs> These things are never close enough. <laughs> okay. Now I've got to go to another bank and deposit this into my dad's account. I'm all over the place. All the stuff rolling around in my bed. That's <laughs> Tony's tools back there. Shovel and something else. Every time I take turns. <laughs> 
It just takes some time Little girl, you're in the middle of the line Everything, everything will be just fine Everything, everything will be alright, alright Okay, I'm just leaving Walmart That's where the bank is And now I have to go to an appointment Once a month I take a trip to Brazil If you know what I mean <laughs> And no, I'm not gonna vlog that <laughs> They look like love to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Straight up to my face. <laughs> Over the past week since I've been loading at work, uh, I've gotten a little bit banged up, you know, more than I would sitting in an office. And so I, when I was in there, I had to, I was like, I have to warn you, I have some bruises on my legs, but don't worry, they're just from work. I work at UPS. <laughs> she's like, oh goodness. And then, <laughs> and then she saw them. She's like, <gasps> I was like, guys, like, don't worry, they look worse than they are. <laughs> Maybe when I get home, I'll put some shorts on and show you guys my bruises. <laughs> So that's all done. Now I guess I'm just gonna head back home. See what Tony's doing. He's probably getting hungry. Maybe get some food. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe today you can put the past away. I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. to relax now. Last night on the late show with Stephen Colbert, Dave Matthews performed, but I missed it because I was sleeping because I had to go to work. So I'm trying to find it on demand right now, see if it's there. Folks, my next guest is a Grammy award winning artist with sold over 35 million albums. Please welcome Dave Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> they need a song first, right? What's the name of the song? It's, it's called The Samurai Cop. And what is that about? It's not about The Samurai Cop. We'll find out. We'll be right back with a performance by Dave Matthews. And Tim Reynolds, stick around. <laughs> Watching Dave, yes, 
Yes, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if for those of you that don't know me, I love Dave Matthews Band. I've been listening to them since I was seven years old. Dave practically raised me. <laughs> I love Dave Matthews Band. Oh, my, he's my favorite person. And <laughs> you know, I have this one friend who's always like, "Oh, well, what if I go to Dave and what if I go with you and or what if I get backstage and I do this and it." fills me with rage because I I literally I don't want to share my day with anyone I love music I'm a very musical person I love to sing I love music I love sharing music with people however and I've had so many bad experiences in the past where I have shared music with somebody so deeply and then we're not friends anymore and then they have ruined that music for me I never want that to happen with Dave. I am so protective. I will never share Dave with anyone because, God forbid, I share him with someone and then we're not friends anymore and then now they have ruined Dave Matthews for me where I can't listen to it without thinking about that person. So, <laughs> I know I'm like getting emotional right now and it's stupid and I know, but like, the music is mine. It touches me in a way that doesn't touch somebody else. And I'm not about to like try and explain it and share it with somebody else just to have it ruined. So, I <laughs> think. We just had some pasta, but we're still hungry. You ever have a meal where it like makes you hungrier after you eat it? Like when you eat a salad or something and you feel like hungrier after? Yeah, well, that just happened. So we just had some pasta and now we are waiting for the delivery man. We ordered from this classy little Italian place down the street called Domino's. You might've heard of them. Yeah, they have some pizza and stuff. <laughs> so we're, we're waiting on the delivery man. <laughs> I'm just vlogging. Okay. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> okay, and did you have something to say? No, I just I heard you talking to yourself and both dogs were in here, so I kinda got worried because I didn't I'm, know I'm always vlogging, talking and to myself. You are always vlogging. I turn the light on for the guy out there. Alright. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna back away slowly. Look at your other dog. She knows what you're doing. Come, come, come. See, I see a tail wagon. I see that tail wagon. You're not fooling anyone. What do we got? What do we got? Pizza. Chicken, cheesy bread. 